Hello, and I want to introduce you to the Wiretap CW key. Why did I make a 3D printable CW key? In short, it is, is I wanted something that looked really cool sitting on my desk, and I also didn't want to break the bank on buying a high-end key. As much as I want to get a high-end key, I figured it might be better to learn CW and figure out if I enjoy it before I dump a lot of money into a key. I have a 3D printer, like many of you, and this is a good way to build a key a lot less expensive that looks pretty cool and sits on your desk. I'm going to be selling the 3D printable files and the plans on how to build this along with the bill of materials and where you can get all the pieces that you need. You know how I said I built this so that I could learn CW? I've spent so much time developing and making this that I haven't learned how to do CW, so that's gonna be the next step. My friend Vince, VE6LK, has done a quick little demo of using this on his Moore's Tutor, and I recommend that you go and check out his YouTube channel and his website where you can get the Moore's Tutor and see how all of this works. And there's also a link to Vince's review on this CW key. We're going to walk you through a quick montage of the build. This video is not to show you how to build it. It's just to give you an idea of what goes into making one of these. And the full build video is in the works and just about done. So if you be patient, you'll be able to find that along with the plans. With all the downloadable files, you're going to find a PDF and quite a few pages showing you all the assembly process on this CW key. It is a bit tedious, but it's nothing that anybody wouldn't be able to do. If you have a 3D printer and you can get an M3 tap and be able to buy some M3 hardware, you're on your way. Now, I'm going to show one thing that I do for 3D printing that I think a lot of you don't. And this is kind of like a little bonus tip is that if you have something that is square or a hole going through something, you'll find that if you put the layer lines this way, that if you drill down into it, that the layer lines can separate this way. And if you have a hole coming through this way, the layer lines can separate this way. Here's a fix. If you put the part that you need printed at a 45 degree angle, all the holes will have 45 degree layer lines. And when you send a tap through or a drill through, it's not gonna separate everything. There are still little hoops, but they all integrate in at an angle that makes it a lot more structurally sound. So with these 3D prints, you're gonna find that a couple of these prints look kind of weird. And that's because the support's already built in. You just need to slice this print and print it off. Then break away the built-in supports and you will be off to the races in building your own CW key. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. I know I had a great time designing it. And now hopefully I can spend some time learning how to actually do CW. I'll tell you, I've got it adjusted and it is just about as nice as my uh, Begali Traveler light.